In this training, we are going to use a tool called Phrase, which lets you really research your market and come up with new content that you should be generating. So I'm going to create a new document and I'm going to put in digital marketing as my search query. Check my advanced settings, see if there's anything else I need to do here. Yeah, nothing that I want to change. So I'm just going to create the document. Now that's a really handy tool. So some of the stuff you can do is you can have it do an automatic content brief. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it just import a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to select all here. And it's going to grab all this information and put it into the editor. So it's searching Google and it's grabbing all these search engine results and it's going to put it in to the document here. So this is telling me, you know, these are this is a, an overview. So they have a typical page has seven headers on it. They typically have 2000 words. And the questions that people are asking related to this topic are, are those. These are the top search engine result pages and kind of what they're about. These are different topic clusters. So these could be different articles or sections of an article that you would create. These are more of the topics covered. These are uh, some of the top headers in the articles. These are the top questions. Here's some statistics and some of the external links that these sites link to. Now I could, you know, grab these elements and bring them into Conversion AI and have it kind of reword or expand on or improve any of these. So I could improve any of those statistics. I could use uh, the questions and have Conversion AI help me answer them. I do the same thing with the headers. These different topics could be things that I use to cover the different keyword clusters are all different things that I could, or topic clusters, excuse me, are all things I could cover. These are all sites that I could model. So I can do other things here like my content. This is where I could write my information or I could import a URL and that can be very useful. Uh, another thing that you can do, so you can look at what other people's stuff are. So let's say that I like this particular one. It's uh, what is digital marketing and how to get started. And so I can just paste the whole outline. And now I have that whole outline. I could bring that. I could just copy that and drop it into Conversion AI and have it make my own version of this article. So that's a handy tool. Uh, another thing you can do is I can go explore the page and I can see different elements. So I can just take different elements of it. Now what I would do is I would take these elements and then rewrite them with Conversion AI. That could be a useful way of you know, changing a site. Excuse me. Uh, this gives you the long tail and uh, top topics that that particular page is talking about. And let me uh, share with you something that I think is really cool that they've recently added. I'm going to close out of that. One second here. So we got the top score. This is useful. We've, this is for like if I've been writing my own content, I can see what I need to improve. This gives uh, top questions, and so I can use those to make a better document. And I could drop those into Conversion AI and let it expand. So that's a great way to, to get stuff going. It's very useful. I can check out Related, and this is other results. It even gives me web results, news results, and Wikipedia entries. So those are things that I can definitely use to research. So let's open concept map on that. Like here is a concept map from that article. Like you definitely could use that and drop this information into Conversion AI to help you write better content. Okay. You could also add this to the document and it added that uh, little piece of information to the document. I'll add, I'll process this link. 
And so I could even add this to the document and it, you know, links back to this news article. Same thing with this. I can add all that to the document. And those are all things I could cover. So it definitely speeds up your research time. It's a beautiful tool. Now, let me share a thing I really like about this tool. So let's say that I want to write some frequently asked questions. It is looking at that web page and it Excuse me, I need some coffee. It is it looks at that web page and it grabs, it, it basically reads it and comes up with Q and A for that web page. Okay, now this is all unique content that it wrote, and it wrote this content for me. So I could take this content, I could drop this whole thing into Conversion AI and use these answers as a starting point, and then let Conversion AI expand on this content. What a phenomenal way! to write your frequently asked questions in a short amount of time. So you could do that for that page. Now I can do it for this page, okay? It's gonna do it for each page that I want, okay? And then if I see that there's some, some questions that aren't super relevant, I don't need to use those questions. Or maybe I see questions that are overlapping. I can focus on whatever one I think is the best and use that. And I can still use Jarvis to expand on this. Like we're at 603 words right now and I've only clicked on a few of these. I mean, even just using this, I mean, I'm cranking out an article in minutes that has the potential to help people out and possibly could be something that people rank, uh, link to. So there's a potential that I could be getting free traffic just from this. Now imagine going that extra step, putting this into Conversion AI, letting Conversion AI expand on this and improve this. You add some images to it, you optimize it with something like Surfer SEO, or even using Phrase to help you optimize it. I'll show you how that works in just a second. Let me add a few more of these two here so we have a little bit bigger of an article or a little bit longer article. I'm not going to bother adding uh, pictures or anything, but we'll just see. See what this does. And this is all information is taking from the top, I think, 10 results for digital marketing right now. And I mean, I could get way more. Oh, I can go even further. We'll go a little further. Because I know some of these are going to be like duplicated, duplicate stuff. We don't need it. So I Looks like we can do at least the top 20. Yeah, it may go further than that. I don't really think we want to go much further than that. But this is going to be the first uh, two pages of Google. And like I said, there's going to be some questions that are, are overlapping or they're really worded similar, similarly to each other. And so you probably wouldn't need to include them. Let's just see how quick this is and we'll see how many words I've got and then I'll drop it into Conversion AI just to give you an example of what's going on here. And I could even, um, what was this, digital marketing? I could probably do a Surfer SEO thing for this too just to show you. So this is just really, really cool. So it didn't process that one. Maybe you can't do Fiverr for some reason. We'll do this page. They might have stuff blocking on Fiverr for it. And we'll do this one. So we've grabbed, I think, from 19 different uh, documents. It's 4,000 words. There's obviously going to be some duplicate stuff. I could share this if I wanted. So I could even share this as uh, like a document for if I had like an outsourcer, they could edit this information and they'll be able to access it, which is pretty cool that, that they have access to that information. So, so it's a great way to to help someone out on your team. But what I'm gonna do is I wanna copy this. I'm gonna go into Conversion AI and I'm also gonna go into Grammarly because I wanna make sure that we haven't, you know, infringed on anyone's copyright just with this right now. So let me just double check because I haven't had it do this full full thing yet. And we'll go with done. 
I have um, they're like premium accounts. Let me do a plagiarism check. Just see what's going on here. And I want to open up the long form assistant on conversion AI because these tools work really well together. And I think that's a really uh, good way to get uh, a great outline started. So let me create a document. I'm going to do long form assistant. We're going to go with uh, digital frequently asked questions. About digital marketing. Write a blog post that answers the. Yeah, that sounds good. And we'll go digital marketing. Continue. Generate ideas. I'm going to have a sip of water here. I'm just going to use that for now. I'm going to have it come up with an intro. Do that for now, okay? Now, I'm going to do a couple things here. We're going to open up SEO mode. And we are going to go with digital marketing. And we can do Google, that's fine. We're going to create content. I'm going to let it just see what it shows for our score with just the default information added by Conversion AI. And then I'm going to paste my content from Phrase, and we'll see what it is. And then I'll show examples of expanding on some of that text just to give you an idea of how quickly you can improve this content and, and do a few minor formatting uh, tweaks to it to improve the content. Now I'm going to see if Grammarly has uh, looked at any of this, and it looks like we're doing pretty good here. Um, so it's got, wow, 100%. Let me see what's going on here. Oh, I see, because it's not writing, um, you know, um, it's kind of doing its own version of content. So what we do is we paste this information in here. This is where it gets exciting. Okay, so we got that in here. Okay, so we're at a seven right now. Let me just paste those all in. It's at a 39, okay? Now, what I can do is I can highlight something and I can rephrase it if I want. You know, or I could explain it to a fifth grader. That's another thing that I can do. All right, so why don't I do that one? And then what I'm going to do is I am going to have it compose. Okay, so it added a little bit more there. Okay, now I don't necessarily need this element. Okay, that seems to be a duplicated question, so I can get rid of that. This, I can have it, uh, why don't we have it explained to a fifth grader? Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it write a little bit more. I want to make sure that it knows these are headings. I'm not sure if Surfer knew that. Okay, and then the same thing. Uh, this one. So I want to make sure that it knows that. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in these different modes here. 
Let me just make sure it sees it. I apologize if you can hear my dog. She just came in here to greet me. So look at that, 55 already, just by adding a couple headings. Okay, so we're we're seeing a good start of things. So what I'm gonna do is notice that we were having some plagiarism with the default stuff created by uh, phrase. So I'm going to copy and paste uh, the beginning stuff that Jarvis wrote and the rewritten, explain like a fifth grader text that um, conversion AI did. And so this improved. And so like it's real basic stuff like digital marketing is the use of digital channels. Well, that's nothing really to be really plagiarized of. It's common answer to a question. So, you know, what should I invest in digital marketing? What I could do is I could totally just delete that. And here's the ones where I took the content from phrase and then I had conversion AI rewrite the content and explain it like a fifth grader. And so this is a great way to really speed up your uh, document creation is combining the two tools. And I could take this, you know, one step further is I could take all the, the frequently asked questions and I could drop it. So what I could do is I could drop it like in Excel and I could find out how many of them are exactly the same. Like there might be what is digital marketing might be 25 times in this document. I could just figure out what is my favorite one and keep that one and get rid of all the other ones. And so this thing where I might have hundreds of questions here may drop down to, you know, 20 or 30 questions I really like. And then I, I drop them into Conversion AI and I have it make a really great article. And this is something that, you know, I could go back and forth between the two tools and just keep whipping out content like crazy using the rephrase and uh, explain it to a child uh, section of this and then have the long form assistant also continue to add on for my answer. And I could do that for, for all sorts of topics. So it's a really great tool. I love uh, what they've done with phrase. I love that they've uh, created this thing to do the outlines and the frequently asked questions. I think it's pretty darn cool. And, uh, you know, let me share with you, you know, taking the outline from someone else's thing, just so I can show you that inside of conversion AI. So here's uh, an outline. And so I'm just going to take the outline. Okay. And I'm going to drop that into conversion AI. My puppy is just wanting to go outside. Our neighbors are having a garage sale and she is very excited. So let's say I want to expand on this. So I can have it expand on digital marketing assets. Oh, I, I, it's seeing the bullet points. So it's adding those. That may kind of actually come up with some handy content to, to be honest with you. So I may want to paste this without the bullet points. One second here, let me try that. You're okay, Gina. I'm gonna paste this without the bullet points. All right. And let's try it this way. Try the same thing. Okay, so that's coming up with some assets like blog posts, social media content, infographics, video marketing. That gave us a few ideas that, and we could expand on those even more, and that'd be a great way to kind of write your own version of an article that's ranking well without really infringing on their copyright. So it's a pretty cool tool. I think phrase combined with conversion AI is a, a very phenomenal way to, to whip out content incredibly fast. Then you optimize it with Surfer SEO. And then once you're ready to go, you just publish it and start getting some links and traffic to it so you can start ranking in the search engines. Let me know what you liked about this training. Just comment below and let me know what the, the best element of this training is for you. So I know how, so I know what content to spend my time on creating to help you be more successful with conversion AI, phrase, and server SEO.